Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and today I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. It's going to be an abstract animation. As always, it will be fairly quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then we need to click G, then Y to grab the cube on the Y axis, because we're going to add a plane here for the particle emission. So click uh, Shift A, and then add a plane. Then I'm going to scale it up, so click S to uh, scale. And then left click to confirm the scale. And then let's go into the particle settings. First off, I'm going to increase the uh, number to 50k. And then change the end value to 250. And the same for the lifetime, so that the uh, cubes last throughout the whole animation. Okay, so let's scroll down to uh, size and randomness in the physics. I'm going to increase the size to around 0.45 and then the randomness to 0.95 so that the uh, different cubes has uh, different sizes. The next step is to go down to the render settings and then change the duplicate object to the cube that you see in the right side of the scene so that the uh, particle system emits these cubes in different sizes. But as you can see right now, they just go uh, downwards so first off we need to change the gravity to zero. So let's go down to the field weights and change the gravity value to zero. So click field weights and then change it to zero. And if we play the animation one more time, you will see that the cubes go upwards. So now we need to add the force field to make the cool effect that we had in the final animation. So click shift A and then add a force field, add a force. And I click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. Okay, so the next step is going to be to go into the force field settings and change the uh, strength to minus 35. That way the force field is going to grab these cubes upwards and then downwards again, as you can see here. And now we basically have the same effect as you saw in the final animation. So now it's time to start adding lighting and colors. So let's select the uh, lamp. And go into the lamp settings, change it to a sun, and then change the size to 1. And then click use nodes, and we need to increase the strength to about 7. Okay, so let's go into the rendered view and see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like in the rendered view. So I'm going to change the lighting to be a little bit more yellowish, kind of like a sun. Which uh, makes it look a little bit better later on. Okay, so go into the world settings as well, and I'm going to make the world, or the background of the world, brighter, so that it's uh, white. Okay, so let's switch back to solid view by clicking shift set, and then let's select the cube. And uh, First off, I'm going to move it to another layer, so click M, and move it to the second layer. And then I'm going to add the materials for the cube. So let's go into the node editor, and I click use nodes for the object. And uh, let's zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel and then delete the uh, diffuse cube by clicking X. Then click Shift A and add a new node. The first node is a uh, glossy node, so change the roughness to 0.1 and then connect the uh, BSDF to the surface of the material output. Then I'm going to make the window a little bit larger and I click Shift A and add an object node, which is an object info node and by using the uh, random value from the object info node we can get random colors so let's click shift a again and add a hue node or a hue saturation node and connect the random to the hue for random colors and then connect color to color in the glossy node and if we now change the color you will see that we get random colors so this is what it looks like it's a very simple way to get random colors for your cubes how strong you want the colors to be is up to you, so just change the color to whatever you want. But I'm going to keep it around here, I think that looks good. So let's go to the next step, which is to uh, move the camera. So click uh, Shift Set to go back to Solid View, Numpad 0 to see it through the camera, select the camera, and then click Shift F to move around. So uh, W, A, S, and D to move around in the fly cam. Okay, so let's uh, adjust the position of the camera to make sure that the whole animation is within the frame of the camera. 
and uh, let's play the animation and it looks like everything is okay so we can go to the next step of the tutorial and that is to change the material of the emitter object which is the plane so uh, let's go to one of the first frames so we can select it just right click to select and then add a new material and it's going to be a, a transparent material and to make sure it's completely transparent you need to change the color to be completely white okay so now it's time to start tweaking the uh, render settings so uh, click the camera icon and if you don't have a GPU you can just keep it at CPU and then increase the resolution quality to 100% and then make a new output folder for your animation images so uh, let's call this one color force and then select the folder and then give the animation a name so I'm just going to call it toots and then the next step is to increase the sampling so I just click sampling and I'm going to increase it to around 200 and then also for the GPU rendering I'm going to uh, increase the performance and the uh, size of the tiles so if you have a GPU you should increase them to around 510 for faster rendering if you only have a CPU that's okay you can just keep it at uh, the same tile size okay, and then select denoising and if you don't have the denoising feature that's because you're in a uh, older version of Blender but you don't really need the denoising it's just to make the animation look a little bit better now if you want to improve the uh, animation before you start the rendering you can always just uh, increase the window size go into render view and just tweak a little bit on the colors I'm going to tweak on the uh, background color and make it a little bit more bluish so something like this and a little bit blue and then I'm going to select the cube and then make the colors a little bit stronger okay so now it's time to go into the render settings again and then click animation and after a few hours of rendering this is what it looks like I hope you liked the tutorial and a new one is coming next week. If you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, you can also get the Great Tank course made by me, which is available at udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.